After joining TMA, it was fantastic to see the initiative for inclusion of Indigenous Australians like myself. It is clear that TMA have made huge steps in the right direction over the past 10 years uh, with programs such as the Education Towards Employment Scholarship, the 2018 uh, Indigenous Trainee Program, uh, which was initiated by Road Tech, and the uh, formation of the IEN, the Indigenous Employee Network. It was apparent that there's a, uh, a lot of passion, pride and ambition um, within the IEN from a recent meeting that I attended, my first meeting, um, from a group of people who share a common goal. And this common goal is the inclusion and diversity of Indigenous people within TMR and the wider community. The department has done some really fantastic stuff in the Indigenous side and out in the Indigenous communities. I have been a part of the, and still am part of the Indigenous Employee Networking. I've also been a Indigenous uh, mentor and through that program I've met some fantastic people who have inspired me um, to want to grow better. Uh, I, because I work in the customer service and I have a very community focused or people focused personality, um, in doing this I have helped the team at Sherwood understand, I guess, my culture uh, and I've done this by bringing the elders into the Sherwood Customer Service Centre to meet them all to understand um, how we all work. We do, here at Sherwood, um, we do the Indigenous Licensing Program, um, we work with the Inala Elders. So it was a fantastic opportunity to bring in some of those community members who explain to the team um, how things work out in the community and it was such an eye-opener. I got some fantastic feedback um, from the elders and also um, from the team here at Sherwood. Um, I also help when you've written tests come in. So if anyone um, that comes in from the Indigenous community come in, um, what I will do is I'll sit with them and I'll actually sit with them and go through the test with them if they're not able to do it out um, within our elders or one of our Indigenous licensing program. I am really looking forward to where um, TMR go next within the next 10 years. Um, they've got some fantastic things and I think the Indigenous Employee Network is going to be a big part of that. Significant dates. Um, throughout the years that I've been working in TMR, um, I often get uh, phone calls or emails from staff uh, just wanting to know a little bit more about uh, particular significant uh, uh, dates when it comes to the Indigenous calendar. Um, people wanting to know a little bit more about Sorry Day or uh, the Apology or um, uh, Mabo or NAIDOC or Reconciliation Week. Um, so what I did design was a um, significant dates um, information sheet uh, that sits in our uh, web page called Murray Yumi and um, you can find that on the internet on uh, our intranet and um, uh, yeah basically just uh, allow staff to go in there have a look and see when the dates are um, see what the actual promotional celebration awareness is about. Hello my name is Barry Leake, a proud South Sea Islander Aboriginal man from the Undumbi and Bachelor people of South East Queensland. TMR's record regarding reconciliation has been a long developing process which continues to evolve through the hard work and collaborative sharing of ideas being actioned into policies and procedures. This is achieved by people both within the department, from outside stakeholders and community members coming together for a common goal. A major part of this common goal is employment opportunities for Indigenous people both within TMR and increased general employment opportunities through services TMR develop and deliver. Now one of the key services provided by TMR in achieving reconciliation is through the unit where I'm employed with the Indigenous Driver Licensing Unit. Now since its inception in 2006 the IDLU or Indigenous Driver Licensing Unit has visited some 26 commun remote communities uh, numerous times providing opportunities for our people to attain their licences. Now whether it be learner licences right through to heavy vehicles, we provide advice and assistance uh, which includes licence renewals and upgrades so our people can maintain a current licence. Another important provision uh, that we do while we're out in the communities is adult proof of age cards which is integral for the individuals that need to travel to both to and from their communities. Now having said all of that, we all know reconciliation is an ongoing, ever-changing process. But if all parties, Indigenous, non-Indigenous, within the department and external, 
from all races and socio-economic backgrounds. I believe we can achieve the desired result for reconciliation for all. Now we've joined the charge, and you're more than welcome to come and join us, join with us.